Hey guys, it's Kim and I am here in front of my refrigerator and freezer to do an organization and clean out of this. It has literally been years. I'm not exaggerating, it's been years since I've pulled everything out, washed the drawers. So this is gonna be a big endeavor to get this refrigerator cleaned up. So let's just get to it. So I'm starting just by taking everything out of the refrigerator. It really is surprising how much food you have when you get it all out at the same time. Now that I finally have everything out, it's time to check expiration dates and throw out old expired food. I didn't have too much, but I did have a couple really disgusting things. Next, I pulled out all the drawers and shelves to clean them off. They were a lot messier than I expected. I didn't show it in the video, but I pulled everything out and wiped them down with an e-cloth, which is a microfiber rag, and I only used water I just felt better about using that type of cleaning product for an area where I'm storing our food. And finally, I put everything back on the shelves. I tried to do this in a way that made sense and that was going to be easy to keep up with organizational wise. Um, stick to the end. I'll do a full walkthrough of both the refrigerator and the freezer. So here is the finished product of the refrigerator and let's jump into the freezer now. My freezer has been absolutely driving me crazy. I have to dig for anything I'm looking for and meat will just fall out sometimes. Here is everything out. I checked expiration dates and threw things out and I have some extra milk and baby pureed food that I made. The milk is expired so I can't donate it but leave me a comment below if you have any ideas. And here's the state of the freezer. I am pretty surprised with how dirty this is as well, considering it's just frozen food that goes in here. So here is the finished product of the freezer. I didn't show myself cleaning it, but I did just like the refrigerator, wiped everything down using a microfiber cloth. I'm so happy how everything turned out and let me walk you through what's inside. Okay, let's do a little fridge tour now that we have it all cleaned out. I have this little one helping. You gonna help me? So at the top we just have beer, coffee, it was my husband's birthday so we have some dirt cake and then we have our creamers and an orange juice in the back. So on this shelf we have like sodas, cream cheeses, sour creams, hummus, and yogurt. In here we have all our cheeses, deli meat, avocado, and butter. This shelf is our bread and bagels, tortillas. This is kind of like our overflow shelf. Like I have meat that I'm going to be using today and tomorrow, um, leftovers hey. from the other day. Hey. So this top drawer is all of our vegetables and the bottom drawer is all of our fruit. We just went to the grocery store yesterday, so they're fully stocked. We've got eggs up here. These are our most used condiments. We have milk and juice here. And then less frequently used condiments and things that I pretty much never use but aren't expired, so we're gonna keep them. <laughs> like fish oil. I don't think you're gonna wanna drink that. That would be yucky. Should we see what's in the freezer? Can you put it back? Good girl. Okay, let's shut the door. Good listening. Good job. 
Okay, so here is our pork and shrimp. Here is beef and chicken. Here is ice cream and other like packaged dinners or sides. Down here are potatoes and hash browns. And then on the door we have more just like packaged sides, frozen vegetables, and frozen fruit. So I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Thanks guys. Bye.